Good day, dear learners and teachers. I am Revery I. Vargas, a junior high school mathematics teacher. In this video, we will explore on how we can use Plasby's calculator in rational numbers. We will focus on comparing and ordering numbers, including performing operation on real numbers. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also indicated in the Casho book on comparing and ordering real numbers and operation on real numbers. This time, we're asked to compare the given numbers. Let us try to write all the numbers in decimal form to easily compare each item. Let's start with letter A. Let us convert negative 127 over 254 to decimal by keying in negative 127 followed by the fraction key the denominator value of 254 let's press equal sign that's equivalent to negative one half and in decimal it's equal to negative 0 0.5 comparing it with negative 0 0.48 thus we have negative 0 0.5 is less than negative 0 0.48 then negative 127 over 254 is less than negative 0.48. Let's go to the second item. This time, let's convert 2 pi to decimal. We click 2. Shift. Scientific notation so that pi will show. And we click on equal sign. To change the value to decimal, we click on SD. And the value is approximately 6.28. We have 6.2831 greater than 6.02. Thus, 2 pi is greater than 6.02. And for the last item C, to compare the square root of 105 and the cube root of 125, we can change both to decimal. So, we key in the square root symbol followed by 105, then we press equal sign, change it to decimal, click on SD, and the value is approximately 10.24. And the value is approximately 10.25. And for the cube root of 125, we key in shift, square root symbol, then let's key in 125, Press equal sign, and that gives us 5. Since 10.25 is greater than 5, thus, square root of 105 is greater than cube root of 125. This time, we are asked to arrange the following in descending order, and it will be easier for us to do that if all values are in one form. Therefore, Let's write all the numbers in decimal form. First, let's change 19 over 6 to decimal. We key in 19 in the numerator, followed by the fraction key. Then, we key in 6 in the denominator. Press equal sign. Change the standard form to decimal form by clicking SD. And the value is approximately 3.17. This time, let's change 2 pi to decimal. That would mean we click on 2, followed by shift scientific notation. We press equal sign, which will give us 2 pi. We click on SD to change the standard form to decimal. That gives us approximately 6.28. This time, Let's change the mixed number to decimal form. First, we click on Shift Fraction Key. We input the whole number, negative 1. Arrow right. Then we input the numerator, 12. Arrow down. And the denominator, 13. Then we click on Equal Sign. And that gives us a fraction of negative 25 over 13. We click on SD to change to decimal. 
and the value is approximately negative 1.92. Last, we need to convert the square root of 5 to decimal. How? We click on the square root symbol, followed by 5. We click on equal sign. And to change the standard form to decimal, we click on SD. And the value is approximately 2.24. Having the given value, arranging an, our answer, we have negative 4, negative 1 and 12 over 13, 0, square root of 5, 19 over 6, 5.2, 2 pi, and 7. That's how we arrange the given in ascending order. Let us perform the indicated operation. How do we do that? Let's key in the given expression. First, we key in open parenthesis, followed by the fraction key. We key in 7 in the numerator, arrow down, 5 in the denominator, and arrow right. We key in minus sign, then 1, followed by the fraction bar, over 2. We press arrow right and close parenthesis. Then, we multiply that quantity with 3 over 10. So we key in 3, fraction key, and 10. We click on equal sign, and the value is 27 over 100. Let's answer the second item, B. First, we key in shift, fraction key. We input the whole number, arrow right, followed by the fraction, which is 1 half, 1 in the numerator, arrow down, and 2 in the denominator. We click on arrow right and press open parenthesis. We input 4 minus the fraction 3 4. 3 over 4. Then arrow right to close the quantity. And the value of the given expression is 91 over 8. Let's have the last item. For the last item, we key in open parenthesis, followed by negative, then 2, fraction key, over 3, arrow right, then we press the operation minus 0 0.5. We close the quantity and divide it with the quantity 3 fourths. So, we key in the fraction 3 over 4 times 1 third. So, we key in the fraction 1 over 3. Then, arrow right and close the quantity. Then, we click on plus 5.2. To answer the series of operation, we click on equal sign. And the value of the expression is 8 over 15. That's it for now. We are positive that our teachers will be able to share this wonderful learning experience with our students.